This is the joyride with the rainbow goddess, the rainbow goddess. Hi guys and welcome to Joyride with the Rainbow Goddess. I'm Itzel and today we're gonna be doing a senior workout for young adults. <laughs> That's right, it's just a real low intensity workout. It's only 13 minutes long and I like to call it my something's better than nothing workout. I feel like it's super easy to do every single day to get it into the routine because it's not like, oh, I'm gonna do something that's like so heavy, but it's like, yay, I'm gonna do something that's light, fun, and easy to do. And since it is only 13 minutes, I do recommend doing it with my seven minute yoga routine, which you could find in my list of videos. When you do 20 minutes of working out in the morning, it jumpstarts your metabolism, your body gets into fat burning mode, it releases endorphins, which means that you're actually set to be happier for the rest of the day, and it also boosts your immune system. And you can also find a really great video about how to boost your immune system in five easy ways. And in addition to that, I really recommend for you to listen to our podcast about health and wellness it's called conversations with my sister it is a conversation with my sister and it's super fun and you get to learn about how to love yourself in all your shapes and sizes and also how to do things that are gonna be healthy for you and are going to help your mental health find links to all the videos that I suggested and my podcast in my description below okay so let's get started Now, before starting any of these exercises, it's really important to check your posture. So roll your shoulders back, tuck your pelvis in, put a little bend on your knees, and pull your tummy up, chest towards the sky, and feel like your neck is being lengthened through the crown of your head. Perfect, and you want your feet to be hip distance apart. Okay, now put your hands on your hips. And here, all we're gonna do is lift our heels. And you can do it fast, or you could do it slow. And you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. If you could even have your heels not touch the ground, that would be an even more intense exercise for your calves. And then I like to just shake it out because I do feel a little bit of that intensity on my calves. Next, I'm going to spread it like doing a lunge. And I'm just going to bring my knee almost all the way down to the ground. But then I'm going to lift it down to the ground. You want to check that your shoulders are back. Chest is facing forward, shining towards the sky. You want to suck in your tummy while you're doing this. And we're just going to do a repetition of 15. And you could do this as slow or fast as you want. Woo! Again, just shake it out. And then we're going to move to the other side, oh wait, like this. And we're going to do the same, we're going to check our posture first. And begin, another 15. Make sure you're tucking in that tummy. Already I feel the burn. <laughs> so next, we're just gonna do like a little punch that way. We're gonna turn our body, and then we're gonna squat down, and then punch that way, squat down, punch that way, squat down. And we're just gonna do this for one minute. And you're turning your back foot. Thank you. 
And you're tucking in your belly. And you're keeping your back straight. And you could do this slow or you could do this fast. Wherever you're at, it's all right. okay we're just gonna walk it out for 30 seconds take deep breaths here you can lift your arms a little too just to keep you in motion one more breath here great now we're gonna do the arm circles and doing the arm circles on their own might be perfectly fine for you. In fact, you could try it out like that. But if you know that you have quite good strength in your arms, then you can grab some cans, you know, some 16 ounce food cans. I've actually gone up to 20 ounce food cans. <laughs> so we're just gonna do 30 rounds going backwards. And you could do the circles small, or you could do the circles big. When you do them big, it is a little bit more of an intense workout. So again, it just depends where you're at. And we're just doing this for 20 more seconds. And you could be still here. It's just your arms that are doing the workout, or you could sway, just as I was doing. Nice. You could drop your cans, or if you don't have them, it doesn't matter. Just shake out your arms. Let that extra energy come out. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go do little circles forward. And again, just check your posture. Put a little bend in your knees. Tuck your pelvis. Uh, tighten your abdomen. Bring your shoulders back. Beautiful. All right. So now we're going to shake our arms out again. Nice. And that that should have you should have felt it right here in your uh, upper arm or your bicep. And now we're going to grab our cans again or you could do it without any cans. It's totally fine too. And we're going to bring them forward. So my elbows are like straight lines and one in front of each other and then I'm going to bring them open and then close them open shine your heart towards the sky close them again always make sure you're look, watching your posture open and also breathe open breathe in close breathe out and we'll do this 15 times Beautiful. Again, now we're gonna shake our arms out, but like looking over our shoulder. Nice. So next, we're gonna do something that's good for our curves. Um, you could do it with the cans if you want to, or without, it's all good. And you're going to uh, put your legs, your feet, a little wider than hip distance apart. Roll your shoulders back. 
Uh, put a little bend in your knees again. Tuck your tummy. And then we're going to bend to one side. And we're sort of gonna open up our shoulder that's facing upward towards the sky. And then back over. And then the other side. Back over. That side. Back over. We're gonna do this for one minute. And you could do it slow. It's, I think it's better to do it slow and to feel your tightening of your abs and the stretch of your side than to do it fast. stretch out my back like pulling my arms forward and letting my back arch over and then pulling my arms back and looking up and I like to do this one I cross my arm up and over and then I do the opposite so right arm up left arm up right arm up left arm up now we're gonna move over to the ground so once i'm here i like to roll onto my back to get it on the ground and that helps to take out any kinks of my back and it pops my back really nicely you're also welcome just to ease yourself down if that's just rolling on your back is not something that's available Ooh, i already heard a pop nice Okay, here I'm just gonna hug my legs for a second. Doing little circles with your back. It's also really good for your back if you um, lay on your back and it feels a little bit stiff or there's like any kind of discomfort or pain. Okay, and now we're gonna do a really low bicycle. So you're gonna bring your legs almost parallel to the ground and we're gonna cycle forward for 30 seconds. And here you want to contract your abdomen. You, this is a lower abdomen workout. And make sure to breathe. Nice, and now we're gonna go backwards. And again, you could do it uh, as fast or slow as you want. And if you need to take pauses, that's totally fine. And we're just doing another 30 seconds here. Nice. And now hug your knees one more time. You could do a little rock side to side for a second. Beautiful. And now slowly, just bring yourself to your side to slowly get up. Okay, so we did a workout for our arms. We did it for our um, the top part of our chest and also our wings. We did something for our abdomen and our sides and also that was for our back. We did something for our thighs and something for our calves. And now I really recommend that straight after this, you do my seven minute yoga routine because that's gonna help stretch out all the muscles that you just worked out and also sort of like relax you. You end with a delicious Shavasana, which just means that you lay and you breathe into your body and you feel your strength and you thank your body for all the work that it's done and you feel uh, grateful for all that is for the time and the space that you had to do this because 
that's really a gift. I would just say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that now. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And share it with your friends. I mean, this is really, and not just your friends, I mean, maybe share it with your grandparents or share it with your parents. This is a really easy workout. You can always um, add more time to each exercise or add the weights, as I said. So you can make it into a longer or more intense exercise. But I think that this is a really nice, relaxed base to start with. And to be honest, like, I did break a sweat. But did I feel like super winded? No, I didn't. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Have a healthy, happy life. Yeah.